Hey guys, it's your favorite and most consistent YouTuber Appleseed here, and I recently decided that I want to start making games. Partly because I wanted to make some money off of it eventually, but also just I thought it would be kind of fun to do. The first thing that came to mind is that I should try making games with Roblox Studio, since I've been playing on Roblox for the past 7 years and I was a bit intimidated by other engines like Unity or Unreal. Now that I have a game engine, I need to figure out what I'm going to make. And after a bit of thinking, I came up with an idea. The goal is that you have to enter a house and steal items from a list before the time runs out. I also wanted to add some other mechanics that ended up not happening, but I'll get to that later. I actually started making this game back in November, but with the combination of me being a junior and having an extra 3 hours taken out of my day due to sports, I could only get so much work on it per day. So I had my idea, and I was ready to start working. I didn't record any of the development process because I didn't think about turning this into a video until towards the end of the game's creation, so instead, I'm going to show you footage from the game's completed state. The building process of the house was fun. I enjoyed making models and designing the layout of the house. That was... until I got to... the door. When I say that the door was the biggest challenge at the beginning of my development, I mean it, because I had absolutely no experience with the Roblox engine before making this game, and I had to figure out everything as I moved along. I'd watched a few tutorials from the Dev King, which did teach me the very basics of game development on Roblox. So I knew that making the door was going to have something to do with a tween, and tweens are something that you use when you want to make something move, like for example, a door moving open. I tried using what little knowledge I had to make the door, and ultimately failed and looked for a tutorial on YouTube. But that part about me failing on my own wasn't what annoyed me. It was actually the fact that I ended up spending hours total just figuring out how to make the door work because the door from the tutorials I followed wouldn't work. I actually felt like just bashing my head into a wall because of how annoyed I was at such a simple task, seemingly. Eventually I got it to work though, and now I needed to finish the house and then work on the primary mechanic of the game. When you walk up to one of the items on your list, you're supposed to be able to click it, causing it to disappear and check a box on your list. This actually didn't take that long. I finished it on my first try, ignoring a few minor fixes. And since that was the primary function of the game, all I needed to do was add a way to win. But before I get to the part where I finish the game and get to make this video, I want to go back to when I was talking about how I ended up not adding a feature. Originally, I wanted a core feature of the game to be that if you ran out of time to collect the items, the homeowner would come home and kill you because that is a completely normal reaction from a person finding out you broke into his home, which would cause you to lose the game. It seems simple, but I tried several different ways to implement this over the course of about 3 hours and didn't see any progress. I ended up deciding to completely scrap the feature out of frustration and instead just add a timer on the clock that showed you how much time you have left to win. After you collect all of the items, you have to leave the house. Once you do, a screen will pop up telling you that you won. Sounds simple, right? In reality, this workaround that I made was still very challenging to figure out, since I wasn't able to get the GUI to show up when you won, and after more hours of scripting, I eventually fixed the code, and the game was fully functioning and ready to publish. I couldn't think of any good names, so I decided to call it Break-In, not to be confused with Break-In. And I've learned a lot from making this game over the past few months. Firstly, I learned that game development is very hard, which gave me a higher respect for developers and the time they sink into making even short 1-2 to two minute games like I did. And secondly, I've learned that even though there were many frustrating moments of making this game, I still enjoyed the process as a whole, and I'm planning on making more games in the future. I'm already working on making more games, except now I've decided to make games with Unity instead of Roblox. This is because of the big limitations that come with using an engine as simple as Roblox. Roblox's limitations don't need any big explanation. Anyone who's played Roblox can tell that it's a very bare bones and simple platform compared to other engines like Unity, which ultimately drags down the game's quality. 
Unity, on the other hand, allows me to work in a more professional and high quality setting, which I really feel like I need. It also gives me access to posting games for Steam and itch.io, which can also introduce more monetary game for the games I make, because I want to make money for what I make. I also personally think that platforms like Steam and Itch have a larger variety of unique games as opposed to all of the copy-paste simulators and tycoons found everywhere on Roblox. Overall, making this game was very fun, and I'll leave a link to it in the description so you can play it if you want. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!